Hey folks, Sam here with Samwood Outdoors. We're out here tonight, me and Corey, my son, we're gonna go after some flatheads. You guys been begging for this video. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how I do it. I know there's gonna be a million other guys that got their own opinions, whatever, but uh, we're on a river system. I've been fishing this my whole life. Um, now they kind of protect the flatheads so we can keep one fish a piece for, and it's gotta be over 30 inches up to 36 inches and then from 36 to 42 inches we cannot keep them and then we can keep one fish over 42 inches so you can only keep one fish between 30 and 36 or over 42 inches so that's what we're after tonight um, a couple things this is one of my favorite spots I got a great current break here we have really shallow water up here there's a lot of bluegills and, and minnows and stuff and, and catfish are gonna come up there to feed um, but I tend to only get big channel cats on this side of the boat. Right straight back here, I do really good. Um, you can see we got a point there, kind of breaks things off. We do really good there. And then over here, we got a brush pile. And last year I caught, I lost a monster in there. So this is one of my favorite spots. Um, how I set up, I use two different poles. I use big spin cat, or a big open faced reels, like this. And then the other one I use, is these uh, big bait casting pen reels. I set my three pens up on this side of the boat because if I get a big one on, I want to be able to horse him out of that brush pile. So I have 50 pound test line on here, monofilament. The other ones I'm fishing 30 pound test. Um, these, the reason I like these is I can set them up to um, what they have a, a bait alert on them. So when the catfish takes it, you'll, you'll be able to hear it now. I know guys fish them a lot of different ways, but this is how I set up. I use, uh, this is my new school setup, but I use a big circle hook, three, four, five, six hook circle hook, and you gotta let that catfish run with it, and then he'll slowly work that hook into the corner of his mouth and you'll catch him. I don't use uh, three-way swivels or anything like that because I want them to take as much line as they possibly can. This is new school. These things are called sinker slides. I've been using them for the last four or five years. And what that does is slides up and down, um, but you can take, it's got a snap swivel on there, so you can take and change out different size sinkers depending on the current or what you're fishing or whatever you're doing there. Get that clip back in there. So that's really cool. Um, if you can't find them, they can find them online. I think Mr. Catfish or something, they make some. I got a whole bunch of them, but anyways. Um, old school right here you can get these flat sliding sinkers I only use these flat sinkers or pyramid sinkers I don't want them to roll I want it to, when I cast it out I want it to lay flat I want it to stay there but I want the fish to be able to take the line um, without feeling it so even when I use these uh, big spin casts I set the drags really really light like this so he can take the line so that's that setup. Now, as far as bait, when I come out here, I always buy suckers. Um, I love using suckers. Suckers are like my third favorite bait, um, and they're they're great. Um, my favorite bait is what they call a warm mouth bluegill. My second favorite bait is what they call is a bullhead. I catch a bullhead about that big, you know, and I'll cut the fins off and I'll use him for bait. He'll stay alive all night. I really love him. Um, but I go over here and I, when I get here, I try to catch bluegills or I catch these are called warm owls. These things are really, really hardy. Um, I'll hook them through the back right here in this meaty part of the back right here and they'll stay alive all night. They work just freaking amazing. Um, and then like I said, I get suckers. Um, this is probably the average size sucker that I get. But I wouldn't go no smaller than that, and I would go up to three to four times bigger than that. Um, but like I said, I always buy suckers because when I get out here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch bait or not. So anyways, it's getting to be about perfect time. It's going to be dark. Here's our deal. We're going to cast these lines out. We're going to sit here. Got to be super, super quiet. Don't use any bug spray. Don't want to get anything on your hands. Don't gas up your truck. Make sure it's gassed a day or two beforehand. Don't get no gas on your hands. Don't get nothing. And big flatheads can smell that. That's how they find their food is smell and vibration. So that being said, we do got a big light, a big 12 volt 
LED light that uh, we will kick on tonight if we get a big fish on so we can videotape it. But otherwise, there will be no noise and no light in this boat um, until we get a fish on. So we'll get set up and uh, hopefully we'll be back soon with a big boy. Hey, real quick, we're gonna talk about, here's how I hook my bait. I hook them right through there in the meaty part. But if you see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, right on the tip of that hook, there's a scale. You wanna make sure you get that off of there. We don't want nothing interfering with that hook. So that's it right there. We're gonna cast it out. I'll try to get as close straight out here to that brush pile as we possibly can. Just had a big hit on this pole. He stopped. Oh, oh, he's there. Oh, he took it right out of his mouth. Oh, oh, he's still there. Oh, it must be a little. Oh my god. It's gonna be a little cat. Oh no, that's a good one. Channel cat, though, I bet. Oh, maybe not. Oh. These other rods. <clears throat> it's a decent fish. Oh, it's fighting like a flathead. Oh, I think he's tangled in that little pole. Boy, it's awful early to be hooking into one, I know that. Can't even believe it. On a sucker. That's a good fly, babe. Ain't it? Oh, yeah. Let me get him around here. Channel cat. Hell of a channel cat. Good, good eater. Oh, nice channel cat. I know some people are wondering why I don't use a net. When I'm in the boat, I really don't use a net, don't need a net. Um, just grab them and bring them in. When I fish from shore, without a doubt, I use a net. Oh, look at that. We almost lost him. We will lose him if we keep dicking around. All right. First fish of the night. Nice channel cat. All right, let's get her back in the water. Another good hit. Things are happening so fast, we ain't got time to set up the big light. We just had another good hit. I think he dropped it. Same pole. Flatheads, they don't splash like that. I think he's taking a look at that other line, too. Yep. Right, go over the top of it. Yep. All right. Another good one. Now, some of you southern guys are going to say that's a blue, but that's just actually a I think it's a male channel cat, but it's a definitely a channel cat. Circle hook did its job. All right. Fish number two for the night. We'll get him unhooked and get back out there and try to get us a flathead. All right, we just got that channel cat. We got the line back in. 
Now I gotta get something picked up this bluegill here. He ain't taking no line. But he's definitely running up the up river. This might be the flathead. Definitely moving up river. Whatever it is, I don't think it's very big. Oh, that's a good fish. It's a good fish. Oh yeah. He's wrapped around something. That's a good one. This will be a flathead. This is how they fight. Stay right on the bottom. Well, this is going to be a good one. Here he is. Flathead. See him? All right, that's a good one. I don't think he's going to be legal, though. He ain't going to make legal. You know them, them bass guys, they get that little little chapping on their finger and they think that's a success. Us flathead guys, we get for them chapped knuckles. Yeah, that was a little guy. Come on. good one. He ain't gonna be legal though. He, he actually makes legal. 30, He's 32 inches and we 30, decided right, to keep 20. him. Yep. 30 to 36. We still got the channel cap. We didn't even get him on the stringer yet. It's gonna be a good night. I can see it already. All right. This is our setup. We already got one flathead. He was legal. What was he, Corey? 32? Yep. 32 inches. So we're, we need to get one more. Um, got our rods here. Everything's set up. And then this is what we do. We got these foam pads. We move the seats and everything forward, stack everything in front of the boat. And then we're just gonna freaking go to sleep here. Now listen, if you're out on the Mississippi where there's a lot of boat traffic and stuff, make sure you got your running lights and stuff on. Here there ain't no boat traffic and we're fine. We're just gonna go to sleep and wait for us to get to Mr. Big. Good night. That's all. All right, it's Corey's turn. Do you know how to work it? There you go. Set the, take the clicker off too. Is he there? Oh yeah. Just make sure you get him hooked and then give him a good... Oh yeah, there he is. Good one. Don't get him tangled in the mother ones. Keep your rod down. There you go. Just like that. And you'll have to work him around. Oh, he's all tangled. Get him over, whatever you gotta do. Still got him? Yep. Work him around, there you go. That's the fun part, fishing with all the poles. Little channel cat. You can flip him right in. Oh well. He's an eater. Alright, we'll get it all rigged up. We'll be back. Ass Crack Productions. <laughs> nope. Pulled it right out of his mouth. Oh no, I got him. Oh, that's a good fish. He was running upstream with it. Oh yeah. That's a flathead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It's gonna be a nice one. Oh that's a good fish, see him? Oh yeah. Rod 
rod tip. Jesus. Your old rod gone. My lucky card. Oh. That would be a legal fish. Let's get a tape measure on him and we'll check him. The official length is thirty-seven. Thirty-seven inches. So that means this one goes back. Checking the baits. And this one's got a fish on it. Never took no line, no nothing. Little channel cast. He's got all that other line hanging up. Oh man. That's a fish. Crap. Oh, little flathead. Little flathead. This little guy, he ain't gonna make the cut. Yeah, I can't believe we lost that big channel cat right by the bolt. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got us in the tree. Feel it. Damn it. Pull us right in that tree. Dang it. He's in that tree. I think he's got us wrapped around something in it. He won't unhook. He's underneath. Oh, he's coming on there. Damn it. Feeling me swimming. wonder what time is it you think well he's got me in that tree it's three o'clock another two hours or so it'll be daylight I can still feel him on there it feels like a pretty good fish so what we're gonna do Either he's going to come out of that tree, he's going to break the line, or we're going over into that tree tomorrow morning and pull him out of there. So we'll just leave her set. I've never done that before, but I don't know why it wouldn't work. He's definitely on there. He's posing. He's just pulling into that tree. Yep. Good night. There he is. He's out. Oh. Got the branch all wrapped up. I thought it was a bigger fish than this. 
that's all right. I'm just gonna get him in. Here's the branch. Uh -oh. Here, get him in before we crash land. Uh. Somebody else's treble hook on here. All rusted. Oh, here, let's just throw them in the cooler. The rest of the fish will untangle later. Pretty good day right there. That's the way you end it. Fish that was snagged up for two hours. Here, I thought he was going to be a big flathead, but it ended up he's a little channel cat. But we'll take him. There we go. Sure we don't crash here. Yep. Somebody with a big old treble hook. Yeah. Wire leader. I can't believe he's still on there. That's a pretty good day, huh? Couple good eater channel cats. One. Five channel cats and one flathead. Pretty good night. All right, that's a wrap. We got the boat on the trailer, we're ready to go. We ended up with uh, five channel cats. We got two right here that'll go for the smoker. And bigger ones, I really don't like to fry them up all too much. These other three are perfect eating size. And we got us a perfect eating size flathead. Um, he went uh, 31 inches. Now I know people are gonna be like, oh, you should let him go and let him grow. Listen, we love eating flathead catfish. This is how we live our life. Um, so we keep this one. We let another one go last night that was, what was it, Corey? 30, 37. 37. 37 inches, we let him go. Um, we, know, we let another really little one go. Uh, we lost a channel cat right at the boat that was a dandy. Um, and then we lost another channel cat at the end of the night. So overall, it was a pretty good night. It wasn't the greatest flathead night. We got three, like I said. Um, but it was a good night. So that's uh, basically how we fish them at night out of a boat, you know, we, we basically camp out. We'll do another video, I got a spot that I wanna go and fish them from shore and we'll show you guys how you can catch them from shore. Um, but that's a wrap, we got some fish to clean and then uh, maybe get in a nap this afternoon, I'm pretty tired. <laughs>